Hey everyone, so I wanted to make a video today to address a question that one of my subscribers had asked me regarding if he should buy a diesel pickup truck or a gas pickup truck from a Ford dealership that's near him. Now that answer to me is more of a cut and dry answer. He doesn't plan on towing with it. You know, you don't need to haul a fifth wheel or a travel trailer or a gooseneck to own a pickup truck. If you prefer to own a pickup truck just for the sake of owning one, maybe occasionally having to go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Sam's Club, wherever you might shop and carry something that just won't fit in a car, I understand that. I support pickup truck owners. I'm not the kind of guy that says, if you need a pickup truck, you better be towing with it, right? You better be hauling a fifth wheel or a gooseneck. I'm not that type of person. I believe that if you want a pickup truck and you want it to be your daily vehicle, you have the right to have it as your daily vehicle. That's one of the really nice things of having freedoms to buy the things you want to buy. Now, if somebody in a Fiat or somebody in a Prius wants to come up beside you and talk about you, you know, it's their risk if they really want to compare their car and the reasons why they bought their car to why you bought your truck. Just have them follow you over to Home Depot and pick up a 2x4 and see how good that fits in their car. Back to the topic, gas versus diesel pickup trucks. And this is specifically new diesel pickup trucks for non-towing applications. And all I mean by that is somebody who doesn't plan on buying the truck to tow anything. A lot of people have stigmas against diesels because they think they're going to be outrageously more to keep up with, that they're going to cost so much more, and that they're going to have such worse fuel economy, and this and that. But let me try to dispel some of those rumors and some of the things that people just don't understand about diesel ownership. First of all, maintenance on the truck is going to be marginally more expensive. If you're going to buy a new diesel pickup truck, you're going to have to get used to what's called DEF or diesel exhaust fluid. It's going to be another fluid you have to add to the truck. But if you don't plan on towing with your truck, you may only have to add it every five or 6,000 miles. If you're going to do any type of towing, the heavier the towing you get, the more frequently you're going to have to add diesel exhaust fluid. In our case, I added about every 2,000 to 3,000 miles in my truck when we're towing the fifth wheel a lot. When we don't do any towing, it's usually about every 5,000 miles. Now, oil changes. A lot of folks think oil changes are so much more expensive, and that can be kind of true and kind of not true. Let me tell you why. If you go to your traditional oil change quick service place, if they do diesel pickup trucks, you're going to spend about 100 bucks to get your oil changed on a diesel pickup truck. On a Ford, that's about 13 and a half quarts of oil. So if you take your truck to a Ford dealership, on the other hand, it's going to be closer to $130 to $150 for that oil change because they're probably going to want to top off your diesel exhaust fluid as well, and they're just going to charge you for a full case of diesel exhaust fluid. What I generally recommend is either learn to change the oil yourself, but if you can't do that or you choose not to do that because not everyone has the time or the means to do it, and you take it to a quick oil place, have them change your oil. I usually recommend good quality oil like Rotella. Rotella has worked really, really well for me in all my diesel applications. Anyways, pay for the oil change and then take your truck to a truck stop type fuel station and fill up your DEF fluid at the pump. First of all, the reason for that is it's going to cost you so much less than buying the cases of DEF fluid. Secondly, it's going to be much fresher fluid if you go to a high volume gas station or fuel station where a lot of trucks go through because they cycle through it much quicker. So you're less likely to end up with old DEF fluid that's been sitting around forever. Now, when it comes to other maintenance, everything else is pretty much the same. People will make claims that once the warranty is up, these engines are going to go to crap and you're going to pay all sorts of money to get everything fixed on it. People will talk about how the fuel injection systems aren't reliable. They'll talk to you about how the engines themselves and the turbos and all these other components can fail on it, EGR sensors, all these different things that I've even mentioned in other videos. But the reality is, if you buy a brand new truck, you're going to have a brand new truck warranty with that truck. Most of the time, I would suggest you get the extended service plan. There are places that sell it for much, much less than generally what your local dealerships will sell it for. Like in Ford's case, there's a dealership called Flood Ford, and you can go to their website, Flood Ford ESP, and usually they're about 80% less expensive. And I'm not even stuttering when I said that, 80% less expensive than buying ESP from a dealership near you. So I would generally recommend you start with them and get your local dealership to compete on price against floodfordesp.com. 
Also, when you're looking at buying a diesel pickup truck versus a gas pickup truck, just realize there aren't a lot of differences aside from the engine, the transmission, and the towing capacity. That's really it. Fuel economy unloaded in a non-towing situation is going to be about the same for both of them. You're not going to see a huge difference. When you're talking about the main difference is it is the engine and transmission. And then secondly, the towing capacity. But if you're not towing, towing capacity is not really gonna be a big factor for you. What you should pay more attention to is the cost of the upgrade itself to a diesel truck. Because generally across all three manufacturers, it's usually gonna range between about $8,000 all the way up to about $12,000 depending on which truck you get. In the case of Ram, it can be a little bit more expensive because you don't just pay for the engine upgrade. If you wanna opt for a Ison transmission or the high output Cummins, which is their highest powered Cummins engine, you would also have to get the transmission upgraded as well. And that's gonna be a separate cost from getting a standard Cummins engine with the standard 68 RFE transmission. Now, if you can opt for the higher price of a diesel upgrade, then I would generally recommend it, especially if you're not a high mileage driver. You keep your miles relatively low, then you're going to find that the resale value and the residual value of a diesel pickup truck is going to be astronomically higher than that of a gas truck. And that can make all the difference in the world of ownership if it means you can recoup that additional expense at the back end of the deal when it comes time to trade it in or to upgrade to another vehicle. I want to make this video as simple as possible because you could compare every little detail about gas versus diesel pickup trucks and then come away with a conclusion, but I don't want to confuse people with that. I just want to tell you that if you remove the diesel upgrade itself, the trucks are identical. There's really not going to be any difference between a truck equipped with a diesel engine versus a gas engine at the end of the day, except for the diesel or gas engine. So to finish things off, I just want to point out that at the end of the day, if you choose to get a diesel pickup truck, you are going to pay significantly more up front. It's going to cost you again between eight and roughly $12,000 more up front to get into a diesel pickup truck. But you should recoup most of that at the back end of the deal when it comes time to sell it or trade it in. And that in most cases can turn that deal into a much better value for you because if you don't have the type of depreciation that you're going to get with a gas pickup truck, it means you'll have more money at the back end to apply towards a new vehicle or just when it comes time to sell it to make more profit. If it's not going to hurt you financially to get into a diesel pickup truck versus a gas truck, I would generally recommend that you get the diesel truck. Now when you get into a diesel truck, just make sure you understand not to put gas inside of your diesel engine. Make that the biggest priority on your list. Anyways guys, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.